Hello everyone, this is Marja Sikinia Morgate. In this video, I will be presenting to you three problems in mathematics in which there will be the application of the constructivism strategies in teaching mathematics, such as problem solving, discovery learning, and proof. Okay class, we have here a problem involving fractions. Let me read this. Joanna is making a new dance outfit. She needs one and a half yards of fabric for the shawl. She needs three and three-fourths yards of fabric for the dress. If she already bought three yards of fabric, how much more fabric does she need? If each yard of fabric costs 200 pesos, how much money does Joanna need? Class, I need to remind you in solving problems or word problems, please read the problem twice to better understand it. Am I understood? Okay, let's proceed. In problem solving class, you need to follow a step-by-step -step process in yielding the correct answer. First step, we need to list the given. So we have here one and a half yards of fabric for the shawl, three and three-fourth yards of fabric for the dress, three yards of fabric which she has already and 200 pesos cost of each yard of fabric. What is asked? The measurement of fabric she needs more and the amount she needs to buy the additional needed fabric. We have here the number sentence one and a half plus three and three fourth minus three times 200 is equals to n. The solution one and a half plus three and three fourth so we need to transform this into improper fractions so that it will be easier for us to solve the following. So 1 and a half is equal to 3 halves and 3 and 3 fourth is equal to 15 over 4. It yields to 6 plus 15 equals 21 and copy the denominator we have 4. This will be subtracted by 3. So we have here the answer which is 9 over 4 and 9 over 4 times 200 is equal to 450. Therefore, Joanna needs more 9 over 4 yards of fabric and she needs 450 to buy the remaining fabric needed for her dance outfit. For your seat work, try this. In a one half sheet of paper, solve this. Marga needs to order pizza for 18 students. Each student should get one fourth of a pizza. How many pizza should Marga order? How much pizza will be left off? Hello class. I will be presenting to you a problem or a discovery learning, which is the derivation of distance formula. If you wonder where does the distance formula came from or how it was invented for your inquiries or question, I have an answer to that. So distance formula is derived from the Pythagorean theorem. So we have here, as we all know that Pythagorean theorem is stated as C, which is the hypotenuse, is equals to square root of the quantity A squared plus B squared. The same with computing the distance between two points. As we plot point A as x sub 1 and y sub 1, while B is x sub 2 and y sub 2 coordinates. So we have formed here a right triangle with right angle. So to solve this part, we need to subtract y sub 2 and y sub 1. Well, this part, we need to sub subtract x sub 2 and x sub 1. Well, here, for the hypotenuse, which will be served as d or the distance, it is equate to the square root of the sum of the squares of these two. So, v or distance is equal to square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus the quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Am I understood, class? For your assignment, explain the derivation of midpoint formula. It will be easy for you since there we have many resources today. Scan into the internet or find books that will support your answer. Okay? For today's discussion, we need to talk about proving the congruence of triangles. We have here given that math is a parallelogram. Prove 
AT is congruent to MH by drawing MT. So by proving, we need to use the two column table. MATH by drawing MT or the diagonal of the parallelogram. The statement math is a parallelogram reason it is given. And there are MT, two points determine a segment. AM is parallel to TH. Opposite sides of our parallelogram are equal. We learn or you learn that in your elementary or previous math lessons. So angle AMT is congruent to angle HTM. Parallel lines that are cut by transversal, then the alternate angles are equal. And AT is parallel to MH. Opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. Therefore, angle ATM is congruent to angle HMT since parallel lines that are cut by transversal, then the alternate angles are equal. Then TM is congruent to MT through reflexive property. Therefore, the triangle ATM and triangle HMT are congruent by the angle side angle congruence. AT is congruent to MH since congruent parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So for your seat work, we have here, given triangle UTV, W is the midpoint of UV, and TW is perpendicular to UV. First, illustrate the figure. So, letter A has been done already for you, and you need to answer is letter B. Prove that angle V is congruent to angle U. 